Doctors have made another troubling discovery in Brazil's pediatric wards. Babies born appearing normal with no signs of microcephaly are now, months later, thought to still be at risk for the severe brain and skull defects. A new report from the U.S. Centers of Disease Control, written by Dr. Vanessa van der Linden Mata, who first made the connection between the mosquito-borne Zika virus and microcephaly nearly a year ago, details the cases of 13 infants. At birth, their head sizes were technically normal, but borderline. Within a year, all of their heads slowed in growth, and 11 had become microcephalic. All of the children had significant motor disabilities, resembling cerebral palsy, and some had epilepsy. This is Mireya Vittoria Farias de Sousa. She was born in October 2005 and seemed completely normal. But after two months, she hadn't smiled, and at six months, she couldn't sit up alone. When Dr. van der Linden Mata gave her a CT scan and an MRI, the images revealed large areas of calcification in her skull. Zika has been reported in 69 countries since 2015. Last month, the World Health Organization announced that it no longer considered Zika a so-called global public health emergency. The organization said the crisis had entered a new phase that will require long-term and extensive resources. The findings of the CDC report make that clear and affirm the need for children born to women infected by the virus to get regular checkups to identify and manage potential disabilities. In Brazil, these babies will now be monitored for up to three years. And here in the United States, doctors are no longer telling mothers infected by Zika that they can stop worrying once their baby is born.